Boy Kid Tiz, welcome to the House of Entertainment. Astro Dimensions, you know what I'm saying? Chilling on the loud pack is all good. Want to talk about uh, a couple of fights, you know what I'm saying? We over here with uh, La Abuela, you know what I'm saying? Abuela, ahí hay que volar a la gente. Ahí hay que volar. I think my my grandma had to. But um, yeah, man. <clears throat> well, let me talk first off about the Hassan Endel fight against Curtis Steven. Good fight, man. Good fight. Hassan Endel did his thing. Um. You know he 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 threw. You know what I'm saying how some men done definitely did his thing. Let me let me bring it back. How some men done did his thing, man. You know what I'm saying he was throwing he was throwing his punches, man. He was using his he was using his distance. He was using his feet, throwing them jobs. You know what I'm saying always moving. Curtis Stevens was never able to sit there and you know what I'm saying get cut cut the ring off and you know what I'm saying get how some men done. And you know the only the only couple of times uh, he would get Hassan Endam against the the ropes, Hassan Endam would just you know lock up you know and tighten up that defense, and you know he was just doing his thing, man. He was just doing his thing. Curtis Stevens wasn't able to get him. Hassan Endam was able to use like I say his distance, Luke use you know what I'm saying, stay far, use his feet, and he even dropped Curtis Stevens in the eighth round. Good fight, good fight. Um. <clears throat> Goes to show that Hassan Mendel has skills, man. He has skills. He has good boxing skills. You know what I'm saying? He's a pretty good fighter, in my opinion. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing him with Golovkin. I know Golovkin's got a good uh, amount of opponents to fight. You know, I mean, we could throw him in there with... We could throw him in there with Cotto. We could throw him in there with, with uh, Canelo. You know, but I'm just saying Hassan Mendel could also be an opponent, opponent for, um, for Triple G, for Golovkin. Um, good fight, man. Good fight. Um, I don't know, man. I think Curtis Stevens still has damn a lot of good fights. You know what I'm saying? He still has power. He still has good fights to show us. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't mind seeing him in. I think that was 160. I wouldn't mind seeing him in 154 if he can make 154. You know what I'm saying? Um, I wouldn't mind seeing him in 154. He got power. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Cause. You know, the 160 seems to be giving him a hell of a challenge, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know, but I think there's still a lot to see, you know, from Curtis Stevens. I don't, I'm not the type of guy to sit here and, um, I'm not the type of guy to sit here and, and, and doubt Curtis Stevens just on a couple of losses, you know what I'm saying? I still think he's, he got, you know, a lot to show us, you know what I mean? Um, that's that. Going, moving on to last night's fight, man. First off, we have Shad Dawson, who seems to just ran into a black cat, man. I don't know. I think he probably ran up a black cat when he was driving us son. I don't know what the fuck. But, uh, you know, he was just, you know, he was doing good, man. It was a pretty competitive fight. It was pretty close, pretty tight. And then Shad Dawson breaks his hands, and this guy just started taking off. You know what I mean? Shad Dawson was doing good for the, for the meantime. He was doing real good. But the, the only thing is that... The guy was doing just as good at him, just as good as him. You know what I mean? It's like you got two Ferraris. They both look the same. They both they have the same color. They both have the same model, the same year. But the only difference is that one goes 160 and the other the other one is going 150. And what I what I mean by that is that you know Curtis Stevens was I mean, um, Shaw Dawson was throwing jabs. You know what I'm saying in right hands while. You know, the dude was doing, was being just as active, but he was throwing, you know, little combos. You know what I'm saying? He was using the right and the left. You know what I'm saying? So, he was looking more decent. You know what I'm saying? He was throwing better, better combinations. You know, Shot Dawson was only able to get off, like, you know what I'm saying? The boom, the right hand, while the other guy was using both. He was using both hands. You know what I'm saying? He was throwing... His combinations with Chess looking better. You know what I'm saying? Shot Dawson wasn't able to throw... Better combinations because he says, and I quote, he says that his right, his left hand, he broke his left wrist or his, of his left shoulder, left shoulder, left wrist, something like that. So, but he looked good, man. He was, he looked good. He was doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? He did what he, the best he could do. And you know what I'm saying? Um, power to him. I, I mean, I, I still want to see him fight. I still want to see him fight, you know, but, um. I, I still want to see him fight, but I don't know. I don't know what's what was 
what's there for him. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how he's coming back. I don't know how his motivation is going to be. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how he's going to come, how he's going to see this. I don't know if he's going to see this as, you know, let me, let me take this positively. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> or let me, let me take this, you know, let me make this work for me. You know what I'm saying? And let me make this a good comeback or let me keep striving. Let me try to make the best of it. Let me try to make the best of it. Or is he just going to be like, you know what? Fuck it. You know, if, he, if, if he's going to turn into a, Kelly Public and Chess, you know what I'm saying, say fuck it. And, um, you know, just retire or just quit. You know, I still want to see him, man, most definitely. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. That's that. Um, we seen, um, Bars Martirushin against, um, Willie Nelson. Another good fight. Another good fight, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think Willie Nelson in the first round, he was doing his thing. He was using his, you know, he was using his job real good. You know what I'm saying? He was stopping uh, Bonds Martirugian in his tracks. You know what I'm saying? But um, right, he had a pretty good first round. But what ended up happening was that, um, you know, he ended up just, you know, feeling that power in the second round. And once he felt that power in the second round, he got gun shy, you know what I'm saying? He let off the gas. I honestly feel that he let off the gas, you know what I'm saying? He got gun shy once he felt that power. And, uh, you know, once once he felt that power, you know, he wasn't as, he wasn't as active. You know, he let, he was, he was, you know, I think if he would have been more active, more busy, I think he honestly would have won the fight. You know what I mean? But with the same token, he could have taken, he, he could have gotten knocked out. Because every time he would feel Bonus Metalusian's power, you know, he would just, you know, he would just wobble. He would just wobble. Wobble, wobble, wobble. And, um, you know, he was he was doing good, man. Bonus Metalusian, you know, he he would throw in the combinations, hit that body. And, you know, he Willie Nelson would feel it. But for the most part, you know, and there was... In a lot of parts, in a lot of areas, Willie Nelson would throw in that jab and, you know, just stop Bars Marderusian, you know, and, and uh, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, you can't even see, you cannot even see the motion. But anyways, he would stop Bars Marderusian in his strikes, you know what I'm saying? Bars Marderusian would try to throw, he would try to get off and, you know, Willie Nelson would hit him with that jab and Bars, Bars Marderusian would just boom. He would just stop, he would just freeze, you know what I'm saying? That goes to show you, you know, if he was to fight Lara again, I think Lara would stop him, you know what I'm saying? I mean, not stop him, but he would win, you know what I'm saying, like decisively. Because, you know, if you can stop him with that job and be consistent with it, you know, you can, you can, you stop his whole, you you stop him on his track, you stop his whole combination. You, he has to, like, start, he has to, like, that's his weakness. He has to, you know, reset and, and you know, get his foot in again and, <clears throat> you know, redo his thing and, 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 you know, get back to his, to his, uh, ev um, to, um, his comeback, what, to his tactical, you know, what he's got to do next. He got to rethink. Once you, what I'm trying to say is once you hit him with that job, he has to rethink on what his comeback is going to be. You know what I'm saying? And that's a, that's a way to beat Bottom Marderusian. But, you know, Bottom Marderusian shows that to beat him, you got to be, you got to be, you got to come there to fight, man. He's not a pushover, you know what I'm saying? Even though he was a smaller guy, Bars Marderusian, you know, the shorter guy, he, Bars Marderusian still, you know what I'm saying, was able to pretty much throw in his combinations, you know, even though he was getting hit flush and he was bleeding and he was cut and his, you know, eyes was puffy, he was able to, you know what I'm saying, motherfucking just boom, just throw in them combinations and, and uh, you know, do enough, do what he had to do to win the fight. And you know, good fight, good fight overall. Um, I'm, I, you know, I, 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 I want to see, I want to see, this, I want to see Bonds Marujian again, man. You know, I want to see him, but with a, you know, a fighter that's gonna, you know, I don't know, man. It, I think he, I, w I would like to see him against the rematch with Lada. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing him with Lada. I wouldn't mind seeing him um, fight. Um, who else? Who can he fight, man? Um. What, is, is he 154? If he's, yeah, I think he's 154, right? 
154 or 160. If he's 154, I wouldn't mind seeing him, you know, um, with um, this dude. Um, damn, I just thought of it. Anyways, I wouldn't mind seeing him again, you know what I'm saying? But, um, damn, man, what is the dude I, I wanted to see him fight? Uh, Gabriel Rosado, I just thought of I had to pause that shit, I had to think about it, but I, I wouldn't mind seeing him with Gabriel Rosado, man, I don't know, it would be a good, you know, it would be an action fight, you know what I'm saying, that, that's my opinion, uh, real decent, real good action fight, um, let me put that shit like this. But, you know, it'll be a hell of a good action fight, you know what I mean? Fuck it. It'll be a, it'll be a hell of a good action fight, so I wouldn't mind seeing that shit. Um, let me see. And after and then what we had, after that, we had, um you know, Bart Rosman telling me against uh, the Argentinian guy. um Decent fight, decent fighter, you know what I'm saying? It was a way to just put... um. I guess, you know, just put Rances Bartelemy, you know, in Showtime, you know, she's put him out there, you know what I'm saying? I've been known, I, I, I known, I known him from, um, I know him from, um, uh, ESPN, man, hell of a fighter, I'm definitely a fan of this fighter, of course, he's Cuban, you know what I mean? And, um, it's been, uh, it's been, you know what I'm saying, he's, he, he has, you know what I'm saying, I like his style, I like how he fights, he, he fights pretty slick, you know what I mean? Um, but I, I don't think he was te tested on this fight. This fight really didn't really show the, the the best of his skills. Didn't really show, you know what I'm saying, what he really has out there to prove, you know what I'm saying? He didn't show what he got. What the fuck is this? But it didn't really show his skills because I know... I know he got... He got, he got better... Hold on. Anyways, so yeah, man, I feel like Rez is about telling me, I feel like that fight was just a showcase fight, you know what I'm saying, it really didn't, you know, it was just for Rez about telling you know, do his thing, you know what I'm saying, but I want to see Rez is about telling me against Orlando Solito, man, I think that fight will really prove that Rez is about telling me got what it takes, because, you know, we, all, we both know that Orlando Solito is a warrior, you know, the blunt about to go in the air, so grandma about to dip the skedaddle, but it's all good. I was trying to share it with her, but I don't know. She ain't trying to hit it today. Anyways, you know what I'm saying? She, um, yeah, man, I feel like I want to see him with Orlando Solito, man. That's got to be the next fight for him, man, definitely. Because I feel like this guy got skills, but he, he couldn't show it in that fight because in that fight he wasn't under no pressure. You know what I mean? The guy was, wasn't was doing anything. He's slow as hell. You know what I'm saying? Um, Raz is just bobbing weed, that shit. You know, he kept using his job, kept using his job, you know what I'm saying? And then he ended up, you know what I'm saying, just boom.